Lighting drama is one of the most rewarding lighting challenges. You really get a chance to use all your lighting skills to create the scene. Now in this scene, Matt and Aaron are having a candlelit dinner. It's a bit of a soap opera kind of thing. The obvious challenge here is that we are shooting in the middle of the day. The first thing you have to do is block out all the shots with the director and actors. This is important. You want to make sure you look at every angle. Now you should be doing two things while you're doing this. You want to create the image in your head of the way you want the scene to look, and you're looking for opportunities to hide lights to make that vision happen. The most difficult shot in this scene is the opening dolly shot. It's the biggest shot and will be the most difficult to hide lights. But as I walk through the dolly, I realize that there's a corner beside the window that will not be seen in the shot. That's where I can hide Matt's key light. Plus, even though the ceiling isn't that high, I can hide a couple of full poles in the background tucked up in the ceiling. So the first thing to do is to get rid of the daylight. I'm sending the grips out to hang some black plastic on the window. This window is going to be in the shot. The plastic will make it look like night. It's great stuff, really. You can get it in the paint section of any hardware store. The other windows won't be seen in any shot, so I can just close the blinds. While they're doing that, I'm going to position the full poles. Okay, I've set up the dolly. I'm just going to create a little foreground. Lamp's always nice. Just make sure you plug it into the dimmer. Get the dolly in the final position, and we're good. Previously, I had set up the Reefa 44 with a 250 watt lamp and the 40 degree egg crates. This was going to be Matt's key. It'll change. Right now, I'm working on Matt's backlight. I'm using a small L light with a 100 watt lamp. It's very difficult to hide a backlight with an 8 foot ceiling when the talent is standing up, but I can make it work here. I'm going to have to make sure that I snoot it with black wrap to control the spill. The cables can come across the top of the cupboards and out of the shot camera left. Okay, here's the deal. I was going to use a small reef of 44 with egg crates as Matt's key, but I found that it was kicking too much light on the background. Remember, this is low key lighting, so we really want to control the spill. We want to create shadows and contrast. So what I'm going to use is a pro light. It's much harder, but more controllable. I'm going to relight for the close up. That's when I can get nice and soft. Now it's time to have Matt and Aaron back in so I can have a quick look at the shot. As they walk through the scene, I realize I have a bit of a problem when Aaron walks through Matt's backlight. I'm just going to add a bit of ND so that it cuts the light on Aaron but won't affect Matt. I want to shoot with my lens wide open so I can see every candle. I've got to knock down my key light a little more. Now I've seen the shot so Matt and Aaron can go work on their lines and I'm going to continue lighting. The next thing I need is a little rim light for Aaron. I thought I could hang it on the curtain rod, but it didn't work out. So I'm going to go with another L light. I can keep this light hard because we don't see her face in this shot. Remember, I'm going to relight for the close-up. Okay, I think I must have ran out of tape because as you can see, we've jumped ahead a little. I added one more light to my pole on the left-hand side. This one will light Aaron in her first position. I wanted to make sure she stood out from the cupboards. One thing I noticed when I was checking out the shot was that the foreground was a little dark. So I'm just going to bring it up a little with a 250 watt pro light. Perfect. Just kidding. Adding a cookie will make it nice and subtle. Okay, the lighting for the first shot is done. It gets easier from here. The second most difficult shot to do was a dolly along the counter. Not that difficult really because there wasn't any real lighting change. I'm still not going to see any faces full on, so the lighting can remain hard. Remember, the lighting can change with every setup as long as there is continuity with the direction of the key. The original idea was to shoot a wide two shot on the dolly, but when we started looking at the shot, we thought it might be more interesting to do a close up dolly following Matt's hand as he reached for errands, following her hand up with the wine. The black plastic on the window worked well as night. You have to angle it away from the glass. Plus, shooting wide open helps to soften it up. I think the shot worked out really well. Now we have relit for Matt's close-up. I'm using the Reefa 44 with the 250 watt lamp and I've added an extra sheet of diffusion and some black wrap to control the spill. I've kept the direction of the key constant but changed the quality of the light. Now we're going to turn it all around to light Aaron. So, best to kick them out while we relight. I'm going to move the table so I can get as much distance as I can from the lens to Aaron. I want to keep the background out of focus. 
You might notice that I changed my shirt. Well, that's because I could see myself in the reflection of the window in the last dolly shot. The black turtleneck kind of made me disappear. I'm going to add a backlight for Aaron now. A 100 watt L light will do with a little diffusion and some black wrap. Once everything's ready to go, Aaron and Matt can come back in and we can do some final tweaking. I thought it might be kind of nice to add a little warm kicker to light Aaron's jowl and to give a little low angle rim light to Matt. It kind of suggests candlelight out of the frame. I'd added a kicker to Matt on his close up as well. This is just an L light with some tough frost and half CTO. And just one more sheet of tough frost and it's perfect.